Did you know that depending on whatever specific niche you decide to do on YouTube, that you'll be paid differently? Like for example, if you were in niche A, you may be paid just $3 per 1000 views, whereas in niche B, you could be paid $20 per 1000 views. And if you were thinking outside the box and chose niche C, you could even be paid up to $90 per 1000 views. I'm not kidding. These are all examples that I'll show you in this video. And the reason why some niches get paid more than others is simply because advertisers are willing to pay more money to certain target audiences. Oh, and for those of you who don't know the acronyms, CPM is what advertisers pay to advertise 1000 times, whereas RPM is what us YouTube creators get paid for 1000 views. These are fluid and changes with the seasons, video quality, and the number of ads that are put in the videos. But today, I did my best to gather lots of channels and niche examples to give you an idea of just how much YouTube creators get paid depending on which category they choose to make videos in. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh and make sure you stick around to the end because that's where I go over all the huge CPM niches. So the first channel I have here is a personal life vlog type of channel called Alexis Eldridge. Now, as you can see from her channel here, she lives in New York City and vlogs about herself, what her daily life is like, her personal goals, random things going on in her life, etc, etc. Other types of videos she makes. Now, she shows her income report in one of her videos and for about half a million views, she made about $3,660. Doing the math here, that comes out to about $7.40 per 1,000 views, which is actually pretty good. Next up, we have a cooking channel called Ryan Maya Cooks. Now, this is just a channel of Ryan showing the world that cooking is easy, simple, and fun. It's pretty self-evident what the channel is, but what we are wondering today is, how much does he get paid for this? Well, in one of his videos, he actually goes over his revenue for this channel, and as we can see here, he made about $14,755 for about 3.7 million views. Now doing that math comes out to about $3.99 for every 1,000 views. It's also important to note that all his videos are under 8 minutes long so he doesn't have any mid-roll ads. I expect that if his videos were slightly longer and if he added more ads inside each video, his RPM could increase to at least $5 or $6 per 1,000 views. The next niche I have here is the language teaching niche and the example channel I have is Fingtan Languages. Scrolling through his video catalog, you'll see that his videos are about how to learn languages faster. His most popular videos have hundreds of thousands of views, and they're all decently lengthy being over 8 minutes with some going even as far as 30 minutes plus. Well, time to get to the juicy bit here. In one of his videos, he actually goes over just how much he gets paid, and as you can see, he has an RPM of $3.48, which is how much he gets paid per 1000 views. It's actually not a lot but perhaps if he niched down to just the English language niche instead of languages in general, I suspect the RPM would be a bit higher. And with that being said, let's now move on to the car review niche. The example channel I have here is Luke Terry. As you can see from his videos, it's all about cars mixed with a bit of vlog style videos. And in one of his videos, he actually goes over how much he gets paid. And that's about $3.43 per 1000 views. In my opinion, the reason why this isn't too, too high is probably because it's kind of hard to sell a car or car parts through a YouTube advertisement. So therefore, car companies don't really pay as much to advertise. Next up, we have the shoe review niche. An example channel we have is called Kofuzi. Scrolling through this channel's videos, you can clearly see that although there are some blog type videos, the vast majority of his content are shoe reviews. Then in one particular video, he actually goes into just how much he gets paid and it's an RPM of $4.67. Now let's move on to the tech review niche and the example channel we have here is called Chevon Salmon. Now just like some other channels, he mixes in some personal vlog videos but for the most part his videos are on tech review. Now he only shows his revenues here in his videos, not his RPM so I actually had to use socialblade.com to find out how much views he gets in any particular month. But when I do the math, he gets paid about $8.50 per 1,000 views and that's actually quite a bit. Also, that's pretty consistent with this other tech channel called 
Basayo Fusudo, which got paid $65,914 for 6.8 million views, which comes out to about $9.69 per 1,000 views. Now, some reasons why there's a slightly different RPM from channel to channel in the same niche could be because of the seasons, how many ads they put into the videos, etc, etc. But it's quite similar as you can see, I mean it's within a 10%-ish range and again, they're both pretty high. Next up we have the artist niche and the channel is called Kelsey Rodriguez. And as you can see, she's an artist that loves oil painting. Her latest videos are topics such as how I study art as a self-taught artist, how she made 80k selling her art on Instagram and how I overcame the worst art block I've ever experienced. In a video where she shows her YouTube earnings, she showed that for 592,000 views, she got paid $3,500, which comes out to about $5.95 per 1,000 views. Now this next niche here surprised me, and it's the camera, video, and filming niche. The channel example I have is Josh Winiarski. I might have butchered that, but as you can see, his most popular videos are on camera gears and tips like how to shoot an event video. I honestly thought this niche would get paid a lot more, but doing the math of nearly 2.7 million views, he only got paid about $10,290, which comes out to about $3.83 per thousand views, which again, isn't that much. I do have to note though that just like the cooking channel from earlier, many of his videos are under 8 minutes long, so if each video was a bit longer, his RPM should easily be able to hit $6 or $7. Next up we have the aviation's niche and the example channel is Mojo Grip. Quite evidently this channel is about planes, helicopters and everything that's in the air. While looking at its analytics, he got paid about $6,000 for 1.1 million views which comes out to about $5.50 per 1,000 views and that's about average in my estimations. Next up is a backpacking channel called Dan Becker where the creator Dan goes into his backpacking adventure, some backpacking gears and just his experiences in nature in general. Well in one video he shows how much he gets paid and as you can see it's about $4.45 per 1000 views. And after him we have the beauty and makeup niche and the example channel we have here is Stephanie Lang. She shows how much she gets paid in euros but when I convert that over to US dollars she got paid about $195,000 for almost 27 million views. That comes out to about $7 per 1,000 views, which is pretty good in my opinion. And next up we have the music reactor niche, and the example channel we have here is John Denton. Again, this one's in pounds, but converting it over to US dollars, it comes out to about $6.70 per 1,000 views, which is pretty sweet. We have the electrician niche coming up next, and the example channel we have is N Bundy Electrical, and converting things over to US dollars again, for his niche, he got paid about $6.10 for every 1,000 views. Personal growth is up next, and for this niche, we have a channel called Zach Hiley. Looking at his most popular videos, they're about like, why I'm able to study 70 plus hours a week and not burn out. I've tried running for 30 days and my life would never be the same. I've tried lucid dreaming for 30 days and my life would never be the same. These are all in the personal growth niche and as you can see this niche has a bit lower of an RPM at just about $2.63 per 1000 views. Next up we have another similar niche in personal growth called Ali Abdal. Reading his description, his channel is about exploring evidence based strategies and tools that can help us be more productive and build a life that we love. Well his channel has an RPM of $5.06 but his videos must have insane retention rates because as you can see, he's recently been making insane amounts of money like over $1,500 per day for the past few years as you can see from his analytics. And with that being said, let's now move on to some high CPM, high RPM niches now. And the first one I have here is the Etsy niche. The channel name is Dina Lu or Dana Lu. And although it's about side hustles, I guess her main side hustle is Etsy. Just like how mine is YouTube. So if you don't know what Etsy is, it's a global online marketplace where people come together to buy, sell, and collect unique items. And by making money videos in this niche, as you can see she has an RPM of nearly $10 per 1000 views which is really, really good. What's even better though is if you put lots of ads in your videos and if you create a high quality video that has a high audience retention, you can get paid even more. Just look at this channel Jess Van Den for example. 
She shows her RPM for one particular Etsy video and it's even crazier. $38.55 per 1,000 views? That is crazy and I wish I had those numbers. Next up, we have an influencer who's making videos in a variety of subjects such as baby prepping, YouTube strategies, and personal growth. The channel name is Catherine Manning and she has nearly half a million subscribers and in one particular video, she shows her RPM for the year of 2022 and that figure came out to a whopping $15.22, which again is really, really good. Next up, we have the investment niche. The channel is called Kelvin Learns Investing and as you can see, his videos are all about how to make the most of your investments, whether that's cashback, credit cards, investment funds, etc, etc. Well, he showed that for 2022, his RPM was $13.55, which again is amazing. And another similar RPM investment niche is called Aaron Talks Money. And again, it's all about investing. And in one video, she showed that her RPM was about $11. Next up is the business niche and the channel we have here is Erin On Demand. As you can see from her latest videos, her videos are mainly centered around business and business ideas and when she showed her analytics, her RPM was at $18.23. Are you starting to see the trend that investments, making money, businesses, that these niches all have high RPMs? Joshua Mayo is the next example and I'm sure most of you have seen a video from his channel before. But in case you haven't, his is like the jack of all trades channel where he goes over multiple ways of making money online. And when he showed his RPM levels, it was at $21.20. With the view counts he gets from his channel, Joshua is making bank. But moving on, remember Ryan Mayer from earlier when he showed his cooking channel? Well, he actually has a finance channel as well. And as you can see, this channel makes about $12.53 per 1000 views. Next up, we have another business channel niche called Jordan Welsh. And as you can see, he goes over quite a few different ways of making money online and combines it with entertainment. He has a unique style and because of that, he probably has a really high retention rate, which means his audiences view more ads. And for that, he has an RPM of $28.81. If you thought that was high though, wait until you see this next one, which is in the web design niche. The channel name is called Paige Brunton. She doesn't have much subscribers and as you can see, she focuses on Squaresoft, web design and online business in general. But with an emphasis on web design in particular, she pulled in an RPM of $96.19, which is just absolutely silly. If I had that RPM for my channel's lifetime of about two years, I would have made nearly $10 million and I'd be on an island right now instead of working. 